Right then, here we are. It's uh, early spring 2016 and I'm en route to my North Lincolnshire Syndicate water, which is my main target for the year. Now this particular water is a very exclusive venue, there's only 15 members on it and I've waited a couple of years to get my ticket so I'm absolutely buzzing to be uh, um, lucky enough to have a ticket for this water because it contains some really really nice fish. The main target fish is one known Starburst which is a carp that's on the most, most wanted list. It's around about 38 to, to 41 pounds depending on the time of the year and it really is a nicer old homegrown fish as well. But the venue also contains a couple of really nice commons over the 32, 33 pounds mark as well as uh, several other fish that are over 30 pounds including a couple of linies that are 28, 29 pounds or thereabouts. One of which is an absolutely gorgeous stunning zip linear. So this year is very exciting for me. I'm really looking forward to, forward to having a go on this water and uh, let's see how we get on. bit of morning glory and we've got myself a nice 30 pound common there on my North Link Syndicate. Can't uh, show the lake unfortunately but uh, I can show you a few little things around the lake. I'm not allowed to show exactly uh, the scenery and stuff like that so uh, just gonna have to look at how clear the water is. It's absolutely gorgeous this venue it really is and it's right in the middle of nowhere so you can probably hear the wildlife all around me. There you go, absolutely fantastic way to start on my syndicate with a fish known as Joe's Common, I think it is anyway, £30.6. I had six yesterday and this one this morning, so uh, it's, uh, it's a nice way to start because I've not really fished much on here. I did a, a few nights in the winter, had a few fish, but uh, this spring I've been putting in the hours on a venue with only a couple of carp in it, which uh, at the moment I've, I've, I must admit I've been struggling on there, so to nip over here and have a go for a few days it's nice to to put a few on the mat so great start this is an interesting topic to talk about because uh, every year you see the lake bed turning over on most waters and on this particular water as you can see there, there's a lot of green algae started to appear over the last week or so and last week when i was down here there was an awful lot of the uh, the old lake bed popping up to the surface but uh, since then the fishing has really really kicked in there's been a lot of decent fish out and uh, you know certainly on other fisheries that I've fished in the past when this annual cycle happens you tend to see a lot of uh, a lot of decent fish getting caught and it's like the the start of the the big feed on on some fisheries obviously it's not the case on all waters but um, certainly quite a few of the ones that I've fished up in the north that's a good indication that things are about to start happening a lot of anglers get really finicky when they're fishing over the top of this kind of algae and indeed some anglers don't even fish on the water because they don't like the presentation side of things. They uh, tend to spook off and come back a little bit later on. But for me, yeah, by all means, use a critically balanced bait or a, or a PVA bag, etc. Because if that gives you the confidence, then then fine. But for me, the last two nights I've used uh, just bottom baits, 20 millers on the on the hair, the same sort of presentation that I always use. And as long as you get that donk on the lead when you cast out and it feels nice and hard. Then if you're using a, a sort of 8 to 10 inch hook link, the, uh, the hook bait itself will just land on the top of the, the algae and if the fish are feeding they'll soon root it out. The algae is so fine that you, you really shouldn't be too, too finicky with your presentation. Sometimes you can be a bit too paranoid about things but um, you know as I've just proved the last couple of nights just standard bottom baits work as well. Now this is the sort of thing that you don't mind waking up before you go to work. One of the big commons properly made me smile. This is the night after I caught that 30 yesterday. So that's two of the big commons on the mat, on the key stabilised, with only a matter of days of being on the water. So absolutely fantastic stuff. Let's get this one back and get off to work. That is one of the angriest carp I think I've ever caught. He was proper angry. Put up a right good fight. And then also on the bank he was proper aggressive, so farewell to you fella. Right, just the rods to pack away there. As we head off to work. Another successful overnighter. 
on a bit of a roll at the moment with the commons because last week I caught a couple of the lake's biggest fish known as Joe's Common, just over 30, and a two tone common, one ounce short of 30. And uh, today I've gone and followed it up with the biggest common in the lake, which is this old lump. Fought like an absolute train. He's not the prettiest of fish in the water, he's got a bit of a damaged tail, as you can see, and a big old lump on him. But uh, I'm very, very pleased with that. Very, very pleased. It's a great start so far to the syndicate. Everything coming on really, really simple tactics as usual. But I'll take a look at those in due course. That's the biggest common in the lake coming back. A big old lump of a fish he is. I've seen him a few times on uh, on the internet, on the websites and stuff. And thought, yep, love to get him. So uh, lovely to get him this morning, waking me up at uh, hang on first light. But yeah, that's been a great start so far to me, uh, my syndicate campaign. Getting uh, three of the biggest commons in the water. There's another one in here known as Black Spot, which I'd like to get as well. But uh, that is a great start. Let's watch him get home. There he goes. Come on, fella. Yeah, he looks absolutely massive. He really does with that big belly on him. Just got the old kettle on and uh, making the first brew of the day. And it's the 27th of April now, and it's literally just first light. And I've just been awoken by the biggest fish in the lake, so I'm very, very happy about that. And on my left hand rod, obviously, I can't show you the lake, but um, just down towards where there's an outlet and a bit of a dam wall, just saw a, a really well, a, a decent fish show um, yesterday evening when I got here and uh, I had a feeling which fish it was and I walked round to sort of a marginal area over there and um, saw exactly which fish it was. It was, a, it was the biggest fish in the lake which is Starburst and uh, trickled in a little bit of bait and went back to have a look at the spot again a little bit later on and lo and behold all the bait had gone so went back round and uh, put the rod straight out and I, I did honestly expect it to go pretty quickly but um, but it didn't do. It's, got, it's gone at first light this morning which is about a half hour ago now and I've just got him just down off the edge here in a sack. There he is, might just be able to see him. There he is. So I'm absolutely buzzing at the moment because uh, target fish from a water is always a really, really sort of pleasing sign. Can't really show you any more of the lake, they're all gonna get in trouble, so that's basically down towards the left hand side where I caught him from. But uh, I'm very respectful of the lads on this lake. There's some really, really nice uh, members on here and uh, I don't upset anybody, and I'm not going to. It's not just about catching the biggest fish, it's also about uh, respecting the other members on the fishery, you know. The, um, some people have probably stopped publicising the lake when they've had what they want out of here, but I'm not going to do that. It's a gorgeous water and it's got some really, really nice fish in it. And um, I'm certainly going to be coming back down here as well over the summer months. It's not just a case of getting the big one and, and disappearing. There's, uh, there's some other really, really nice fish in here. There's a couple of really beautiful linears which I'd love to get on the bank at some stage, but uh, for the time being, I'm, I'm, I'm mega chuffed to, to have caught Starburst. I've had probably three weeks of fishing on here now and I've caught three out of the four biggest commons which is really really lucky as well as the the biggest biggest mirror in here so you know you can say what you want about the bait but um, I know what it's all about it is the bait it is also obviously a little bit about switching onto the water as well and being in the right place at the right time and putting the effort in and also having a little bit of luck but I had a great year last year on, on, on the key, so I've come straight on here again with, with the key again and you know, lo and behold, it doesn't take me long to, to catch the biggest fish in the water, so you know, um, these little things keep adding up and people can be as cynical as they want about that bait, but uh, believe you me, I've got some mega confidence in it and I'm mega chuffed to have caught Starburst and uh, you know, kicked off my 20, 2016 year basically just where I finished off last year, which is by, you know, having some some good success. So um, I'm pretty pretty chuffed about that. It might not sound it at the moment because I've I've not had much sleep, 
and I've got to pack up in a couple of hours time and head off to work. I've got uh, deadline day today at Carp Talk, so busy old day ahead. But um, yeah, we'll have a look at Starburst on the bank in a minute. Absolutely made up with that. Starburst, the biggest fish in the lake at 39.15. Had a little spurt in the winter of only a few days of fishing and I came back on the water only three weeks ago. And just to prove how good the key is, I know I've been going on about it, but I've got so much confidence in it. Only three weeks into my spring session, I've caught three of the top four commons, as well as the biggest fish in the lake. There ain't much more else I can say other than absolutely made up, proper buzzing, and thank you ever so much. This is a great lake, great fish, and I've thoroughly enjoyed my time fishing on here. Great set of lads as well. Mega. And there he is. The biggest fish in the lake. What a great moment. And he looks fantastic. And he's gone off. None the worse for wear. 